ready for the major? No! I said, are you ready for the anime major? Nigma, there he said, combo first, you know, we're gonna burst you. And then they're like, okay, we're gonna go Wraith King. And they're like, oh, you wanna play long fights? Oh, we can play long fights if you want. An uncomfortable laning stage top in their safe lane for Team Nigma. So it feels like bottom lane has to be where they find the action. Getting onto Palos, a decent save with a shield and the heals. Palos Fairy fires up and Mind Control and GH back onto them with GH. Oh, he's, he's gonna get away with Mind Control, isn't he? RR, does he have a missed call? I think he's, he's still level two, isn't he? Yeah, so three twenty five. just have to try and chase him. God's Rebuke ready. The ball, the one hit. Marsh needs to have a good game, and he is. He's uh, having a really good time on the bottom. A lot of damage. And there they go. Ones of, just gets blown up. They don't even pop it. A miracle now, an unexpected TP bottom. So they see the Wyvern top, and they feel safe bottom as Parlo just gets speared after that EMP tornado combo. And the Wraith King, is this the third death in quick succession from him? They've been saved up by RR with a good shield. Parlos with no one charges, and the remaining right clicks coming through. Miracle Ghost walking to slow him down. Mind Control should get the finishing touch. The shield and the spear, oh, not quite enough damage. They need to dive for Miracle to take him down. And RR is looking to try to trade, but it's a good tornado. Stopping Yoei's aggression. Into the trees. They need this but Miracle's dead, and that's great for Yoei's Void Spirit. Yeah, maybe even think about stacking up some jungle camps for you. Get the Abaddon over there, maybe the Lina can do that job. But Miracle so very active early on. Goes bottom, goes top, he's everywhere on the map, finding openings. It's a good light strike array. Nico, unfortunately, though, out of mana, so he can't get any more damage onto RTW to really upset the balance of Execration. Nigma, creating a lot of chaos on the map. First rotation to the bottom lane, now to the top lane. Meanwhile, all, all this is happening. Mind GA, control. He's level six. In comes Yoei. They find the Mars. Palos finally gets the help he needs. So equally with Miracle's great rotations, Yoei is reacting beautifully, but look who it is again. Oh, he's done it one more time. Onto BDZ. The Light Strike Array will buy a bit of space for the Winter's Curse. It comes out. Final damage needed, and Miracle turns back, so BDZ all into the trees. Really good for Wraith King. They didn't really put too much pressure, but once they got the levels, yo, once again, yo, gonna go in. Straight towards Mind Control. Keeping this action-packed game going. The Cold Embrace is there, but MC stuck between three heroes. Execration, they bring the numbers they need, but a Haunt. Spectre jumps to the back line, snipes out RR, and Mind Control, he's still alive. Palos, he is level six, so Reincarnation will come, but MC is still alive under his tower, bottling up, and Enigma, the wants to bring even more. Four, more than three. Spear him up, catch out of the Wraith King. People, Five people. people! They're gonna go double null into the drums, it looks like. Not gonna go for that urn or spirit vessel. Definitely does still have the Midas queued as Yoe makes that move forward. Jumping Invoker, RP expanded. Good little pirouette spin around from Nico. Dragon close to the tower with a skewer. No mana for Laguna, they still gonna get the kill. The arena could be a beautiful setup for them. And if they get BDZ and Palos here as Nigma. They do set up with a two-man tornado. Arena catching out Nico and BDZ. The Ice Blast on the mark, up. and they blow up the Magnus. Now the Spectre haunting in towards RR. He pops for a time, they just need to get Palos and Yoe out of there. Three heroes pummeled as Nigma bring everybody in yet again. The numbers advantage and the setup from Nigma spot on. And they're not done. Lacoste, they want Palos. They, they want, want to get more core heroes. Great spear after that chilling touch and the cold feet coming. Palos turns on his armlet, still has that level two reincarnation, don't forget. So first life sure is expended, but Nigma, oh, they don't want to stick around. They know that people are respawning. Oh, what so the tornado TP. He actually hits him with the tornado while he is trying to TP out. Turo will be the victim, eats Laguna Blade. Five points in wax, four in quas, and then back into Exhort to try and ramp up your damage. And he's got some exceptional setups yeah, like this. He doesn't have Cataclysm yet, of course, on the Invoker, but they've got Ice Blast, they've got Spear back, the RP being fake pump, Nico, Sunstrike coming, RP's the Mars. It's a solo catch for the Cold Embrace. It delays the damage coming from Execration, so MC is absolutely fine. And he's got some Skellies following him. And Mind Control running forward incredibly aggressively. He arenas three of them. Uh, follow through a little lacking, though. They're focusing onto RR off to the right hand side of the fight. And Miracle can't get the finishing blow on the Abaddon. So Execration, they hold out. Even losing that Wraith King there, they could still keep the pressure on and push towards that Here tier one go, tower. Nico. Onto Kuro. Nico with a great blink skewer back. 
A lot more mana pool to work with. Another RP, skewer back, away from the Winter's Curse. Yeah, good little stun with the Life Strike Array, but there's the curse now with the arena on them. Nigma counter initiate and the cold embrace. Healing Miracle, he's still alive. He's half HP. Oh, they turn it around, finally blowing up the Invoker, but it's a tragic fight here as they take down BDZ and Nico. The buyback for Miracle now, wanting to extend this longer. Reincarnation from the Wraith King brings him back. Another and heal. now the heal onto the Spectre. RTW seems fine and dandy until BDZ with a Life Strike Array stun, connecting on. To him with a Deathling Blast pushback. It's a triple for my control. They're gonna get the fourth kill here. Lena die back. BDZ's done for. That, that's what we talked about. They don't have enough damage. They decide to go in. Is it gonna be a full team one? They want the fifth one. Oh, what a spear. Great by mind catch. Control. Sunstrike a little off the mark there. Yo, a TP. Ooh. That Tornado was close. Dude, just keeping people alive. Miracle bought back. He's not afraid to use it just to win a team fight off of that. There was a good RP once again by Nico. Schuver back. Try to go as further away as possible from that Winter's Curse. In the end, it connects. So you kill one of your teammates, but Miracle still dies in the end. And look at how bold ILTW can be now with his Radiance up. Straight into that Radiant Triangle and Mind Control Invis here gets the Spear towards Parlos, but a Skewer back. Four men in the Shockwave, but Nico has no RP. So he's gonna get Deafening Blasted and chased down by RTW. The damage substantial from the Spectre. Picks up a killing spree on the two-man curse. They find the catch onto their face, onto the Void Spirit and the Sun Strike. Not quite connecting perfectly and Yoe will slip away. Mars Arena on the RR. Edgar will follow, but it's not enough damage. He's given a, a pretty free game there. 11,000 net worth as they catch up Palos. Yules and the Remnant not tagging Miracle. Light Strike Array towards Kuroki, but they heal once again from GH. They buy so much time and extend these fights that Palos dies twice. Now move in with Nico, but look at the damage from RTW shredding through this Execration side and the Spear from Mind Control. Secures once more the BDZ Lena while RR is left stranded. The Borrowed Time will only delay the inevitable death of the Abaddon. MC's in once again and a triple kill for the Spectre. Connecting onto Execration with Nigma smoked up. Sliding their way into that bottom jungle. Nico, king of the hill. He is up there on the top of the hill. There's the nice arena towards the Lena, but jump back in from Nico now. No One cap up. towards GH, but the Winter Wyvern just turns around, cast the Winter's Curse, and Kuroki saved once more. This Cold Embrace Holy Locket you've been talking about has been spot on from Nigma. Kuroki, I don't know if you'll even die here. Shockwave back, but still alive, finally. Picked off by Yoe. RTW now, though, free reign in the fight to chase down any targets that he sees fit. Palos. Daggered up, slowed down, sunstruck and killed. He's only got to done it. Miracle snipes the Wraith King. Inflation of Dota 2 with the heroes they've got. Probably feels more, more like 10k lead now for them. And Spectre is sprinting towards the Radiant team. Aegis in hand for, what, a minute and a half? So doesn't mind too much losing that first life if it can set up for a proper fight. And they zone the team. They're trying to catch RTW still with the chain stuns. Enigma coming in, little by little, onto Nico. They find the Magnus, they've baited Execration. Ice Blast flies and trails over the Lena. BDZ gonna get hunted into the trees now. Sunstrike, it's not gonna hit. Level 18 on the Raid King, lower the cooldown. Oh yeah. Going for Incarnation and have Spell Immunity. Mike but look Crow, at this. again, going in. Hey, Palos. He's got his reincarnation, sure, he turns and whacks Mind Control. RR's helping him out too, but it's a BKB MC and, and Palos. He doesn't have the mana, he's been burnt of it, so there is no reincarnation. They've got an RP on the Spectre, but Enigma just diving the base, a double for Miracle. They are spot on with these initiations, all set up by Mind Control and this Winter's Curse towards the Void Spirit. They're gonna find all the core heroes. Yule Scepter into the air, the Remnant dropped down, but Yoe's gone. The three points in reincarnation, he respawns there. Enigma would definitely have to respect it more. Skewer back into tier fours, LSA misses. And now they've got an arena. RTW half HP, but look at that. A cataclysm comes. Nico down. They'll find that first reincarnation and a deafening blast meatball clears through his second life. He's got no buyback and probably no chance now for execration to hold. There second lane still. gone. A tier GG's three tower gold. on the bottom, but they're going to call it. Hey, it doesn't matter, Lacoste. Yeah, it goes like the quap, like, he's like, I'm, I think I'm going to dagger you. And she starts running forwards, you know, to get in range. And, and Voker's like, all right, cold snap. I'm going to right click you now. You want to you play this battle? Because I've got natural sustain. He comes in to try and react to some of this Nigma aggression in the mid lane. Have a stun again. Mine he's going to be all right for now. Still holding out, but GH's arrival should be able to force him out of the lane now. BDZ and Nico both reacting to the ET's movement. First crown. Into the Bramble Maze, but Miracle and Kuro here with the stuns and the stomp from GH. 
Nico being drained of his mana. BDC still aiming for this GH kill. Now, Although there's a ward checking. there. Well, well, G he was just checking if there's a ward there, and now he thinks it. Like, before you die, be efficient. GH is a god. All the neutral! Oh, the neutral creeps actually get him. Might be able to find the takedown. Two earned charges. Cold Snap Tornado at the ready. Aiming in towards mid. There's the stun. The chain disables. Perfect execution from Nigma. I think so. He's out of tips already. First 10 minutes, they're all gone. Oh, we see the natural. Oh, it's a long TP. That's a long TP. Queen of Pain speared. Miracle Kuro. And I believe it's um, mostly like crit. During the last major, he was always buying it on a tusk. Tidehunter bottom. No mana. Has Soul Ring if he wants to pop it. Possibly pops an Acre it. Smash. But He's going to die anyway, isn't he? RTW has a chase down. RR dead to GH's stomp. Invoker gives that like, little hit to RTW. Oh, he doesn't have rock yet. It's 14 minutes in. And Miracle, he was spotted under that sentry. But in comes the RTW anti-mage. Palos barely blinking back. Spirit Vessel low, ticking him down. The damage is enough. He's killed Sun off. Strike. All Sun right. Strike's coming. Doesn't find doesn't the duck to him. A little bit of that maneuver from Nigma. And five heroes converging from Execration. In towards the Invoker. A little combo there with the Fatal Bonds and that Golem dropped in. BDC down to Miracle and the Sonic Wave pushing him to high ground. Invoker gonna die. Finally down to Yoen. Morphling with that Adaptive Strike gets a sweet pick off and Kuro has been left stranded here. So two for the price of one. It's a good stun. But no Kuro has be no... on him. By yeah. time, Courier, Kill a courier. Will scout him out. Go on. Get it. He needs three hits. I Not can't. gonna happen. I... Uh, he's not got the proper set on, but looks a little bit like Cap with some of the cosmetics. It's a good arena. Nico and the Golem trapped inside of it. Earth a bit of a number of kill. They even bring Miracle to the mid lane. Oh. A lot of stuff that they can just throw. While Execration, they need to go in. They need to get stuff done. Rock, Ravage, one, two quick kills, and then go for more. Yeah, once they commit, they commit. And BDZ. Done, actually. He's gonna he dead. Die. To the Spirit, Spirit Vessel. vessel. Tornado does not hit. An anti-mage can be as Yahweh. He picks up Kuroki. Lion stepped out a little bit too far. Tornado misses out. And Lion Control spears back the tide, but still chasing forward. Turning into the Mars and spearing him back. Yahweh gonna find the kill on Mind Control there. Nico grabs his Blink Dagger, so that's Phase Hood Blink. And Miracle. Another move into mid. But that's a Golem Terrorize. Feared up and into, into the Bramble Maze. Under a Sentry Ward, Miracle. Do they have the finishing touches though? Yahweh's completely out of mana. GH and Mind Control have soloed down Palos, and now Yahweh's on the run. Well, of course, we need another another warning for your sarcasm meter. Yoe, stunning out the lion. Does claim... Oh, oh, good no. spear. Soul Finger of death back. Yoe dropping. They get the morphling. Couldn't even kill Kuroki. And RTW with the Aegis now, just running straight towards Execration. Low it towards him. Move the speed forward. On to BDZ. Got the Bethlehem off, but it's a dying move. The last breath the here of execration. The spear onto R.O. Yeah, I don't know, but he's caught up against the tower. Now an arena from Mind Control as well. It's all falling apart for execration. Nick might have their number. A double for Miracle. And this one looks like it might be over already. He's got 86 armor with the Solar Crest. How much is that? It's 64% uh, physical resistance. That's quite a lot, Lacoste. And he's jumping forward to BDZ. He might be able to get the solo kill. In comes Mind Control, secures it for him, forces the body back. The Sonic Wave there does claim the Aegis. Ravage, will he pop it? He can will. He they yes, want to can. focus the AM. Nice, terrorize after the Ravage. The chain stuns. Do they have them? The Curse Crown's coming, but he Manta gets out of it. Blinks away, and now Nigma can turn and face Execration. Burst through every hero they've got. Morphling gone for a minute. Tide's done. No buybacks and no spells to be cast, even if they had them. This is it. Nigma will take them out. 2-0 as GG is called. Ah!